Hello everyone, I'm back with what might just be my most highly requested video ever and I'm so excited because today's video is in partnership with Dyson. So they're relaunching their highly sought after, super popular, award winning air wrap styler. So I wanted to share how to create three different looks using this tool. So there's these big voluminous curls, I shared a really easy smooth blowout and the perfect beachy waves for summer. All right, let's get started. Okay, for the first hairstyle, it is my favorite, my go-to, and that is big voluminous curls. Now, before we can go in with the curling attachments, I do need to just pre-dry my hair to about 80%. You can let your hair air dry, but if I did that, my hair would be so frizzy. It is incredibly humid outside, so pre-drying for me is a must. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the pre-styler attachment. It looks like this, and it clips on nice and easy. Very satisfying. And this has three fan settings and three heat settings. I will be using high speed and high heat, and you just use this like you would a blow dryer. So a helpful tip is focus the air mostly on your roots as they take the longest to dry. So just lift up the root and get right underneath, especially around your neck area. All right, so I think this is about 80% dry. And I always get asked, how do you know? And that's such a good question. So your hair will look mostly dry, but when you touch it, it'll feel cool to the touch because it still has moisture in it. And this will give you the best results. So there are two sizes of barrels. There is the 1.2 inch. This one's smaller and it's great if you have shorter hair. Maybe you want a more defined curl. Maybe you're prepping your hair for an updo. It's also really great for beachy waves, which I will be showing you next. And then there's the 1.6 inch barrel. This is my favorite barrel. This will create those big voluminous curls. They're less defined. And one of the questions I always had about the air wrap is, does it work on long hair? So one second, it does. They have introduced these longer barrels, which are perfect for long hair. You can see what a difference that is. Okay, I'm gonna section off my hair just above my ears and let's do this. All right, so let's unclip this attachment. You just pull this down, pop it off. And then I'm going to attach the 1.6 inch barrel with the arrows pointing to the right. I'm gonna start on the right side so that all the curls go away from my face. All right, so just grab like a two to three inch section, the same size you grab as if you were curling your hair with a curling iron, and just pull out your section. You just wanna leave like two to three inches of hair at the end, a little tail like this. And then you just turn on your dryer and introduce your ends to the arrows. It'll do all the work for you. And then you just bring it towards your head without any twisting. And then I hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then the next step is key. So push up the power button to activate that cold shot and leave this for about 10 seconds. And this will just really help lock in that curl. And then power it off and gently release your curl. And look at that, how cool, right? Okay, I'm gonna do another section so you can see. And yes, this is as fun as it looks, I love it. All right, for curls, you wanna use high heat and high speed. Now, since this has an intelligent heat control, you don't have to worry about it burning your hair. It actually measures the temperature up to 40 times per second which is crazy. So it really helps to minimize heat damage. All right, I'm going to switch to the other side. So I'm gonna take out that barrel. I want the one with the arrows pointing to the left, to the left side, pop that on. All right, so this bottom section's done. I don't wanna to touch my curls too much, but I really love how like soft and effortless they are, and they are so quick. Typically, I'd still be blow drying my hair at this point, so I love that it just dries and styles it at the same time. All right, so next, I'm going to section my hair off at my temples, and you don't have to work in sections. I just find it the easiest. And if you have any of those stubborn flyaways, you can just use your hand to smooth them down at the root. You know what, at first I was worried about using the air wrap. I thought it was going to suck in my hair, but you don't have to worry. This uses the Kawanda effect, which actually wraps your hair around the barrel using air. So don't have to worry about it sucking in your hair. It's super gentle. I truly can't get over how quick this is. Amazing. And when you're curling your hair, if you find that your hair is slipping off the barrel, it's not staying on, there's a good chance that your section is too large. So just try grabbing a smaller one. Last curl on this side. 
Look at that. So that's it for this layer. Just going to move on up. So once I reach my part, I like to bring the barrel nice and close to the root. And I find this just gives the hair a lot of lift. So if you like a lot of volume, then I'd give this a try. You know what just might be my favorite thing about this? Is it only takes one hand. I just text my mom back. You can scroll on social media. It's seriously so freeing. All right, so I'm going to move on to the top section. I just curl it the exact same way. And then I'll show you how I do my bangs. All right, my bangs, if we can even call these bangs, they are so grown out right now, but all I do is divide them into two. And I'm gonna start with this back section here and just curl it away from my face. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, you could leave it like this, but I'm just gonna let my hair cool for a couple more minutes and then I'll show you how to transform it. Okay, are you ready for the transformation? So either take a wide tooth comb or your fingers will work great. And you just wanna gently break up these curls. So that's it. I love how like soft and voluminous these curls are. They look really natural and pretty. I have so much volume up on the top. What do you think? But I've been wearing my hair like this on Instagram and I've been getting so many compliments and questions asking what curler did I use? And now I can finally tell you it's the Dyson. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, dampen my hair. I know, and let's move into the next hairstyle. I really think you're going to love it. It's so quick and easy. All right, next hairstyle is a very quick and easy, smooth blowout. This is my go-to hairstyle when I'm a little bit shorter on time, but I still wanna look put together. All right, so start with wet hair, and I'm going to be going in with the soft smoothing brush. I love this attachment. It is so easy to use, and it gives you such beautiful, results. So there's the one with pink tips, which is great for fine to medium hair. Hello, that's me. And then there's the one with gray tips. This is the firm smoothing brush, and this is great if you have like medium to coarse hair. All right, so let's put this on, and are you ready for magic? I'm going to use high heat, high speed, and you're gonna see how quickly this dries my hair. So all you do is just brush your hair. And similar to the last hairstyle, you just wanna focus most of the heat on your roots because they take the longest to dry. But the smoothing brush attracts hair to its surface while blowing air down the strand and it creates a nice smooth finish. The kind of finish that I only get when I get my hair done at the salon. But go ahead, work in large sections. You just brush through your hair. Oh, and quick note, these bristles are nice and flexible. So if you have any like stubborn knots, you can just gently brush through them. But I would definitely recommend using a detangler if your hair is tangly before going in with this. Okay, so my hair is probably like 90% dry, and if you want to get a little bit more lift at your root, just take the section near your part, and you can just place this brush right underneath, and just kind of hold it there for a couple of seconds, and then hit it with the cold shot to lock in the volume. So this is how my hair looks. I love it. It's so soft, and like, look at that shine. But this is my favorite kind of straight, like it still has body and volume and I love the ends. They have this like soft bend in them because of the brush's shape. I just think it looks really soft and pretty. Oh, and the best part, typically to get my hair to look like this would take like at least 45 minutes and I'm not even kidding, this took like maybe 15. It's magic. All right, last but not least, really beautiful natural beachy waves and I'm gonna share with you a new technique with the barrels. So for curls, you wanna start off with damp hair. My hair is currently too wet, so I'm going to go in with the pre-styler and just quickly dry my hair, similar to how I did it with the first hairstyle. So I'm just gonna be focusing most of the heat on my roots since they take the longest to dry. All right, so this is probably good. My hair is like 70 to 80% dry. It looks dry, but when you touch it, it's cool to the touch. So this is going to give you the best results. All right, so I'm going to section off my hair above my ears. You don't have to section off your hair. These are beachy waves, so the less perfect, the better. I just find it easier. So for beachy waves, I'm going to use the 30 millimeter long barrel. I love this one because it creates a tighter wave and it just looks really beautiful. So we're going to be using the air wrap like a wand. It's really cool. And when you flip it upside down, you just wanna make sure that the arrows are going away from your face. All right, so grab like a one, to two inch section. You could definitely alternate the sizes as well. And I'm just gonna toss all the wet hair behind my shoulder. Goodbye. 
All right, so turn it upside down and you just wanna wrap your hair around the barrel just like you would a curling wand. And you wanna make sure that your hair is nice and flat so that it evenly dries. All right, and for beachy waves, I like to use high speed but medium heat. Then hold it here for about 10 to 15 seconds and you can touch your hair to see if it's dry. You don't have to worry, it's not gonna burn you. And then hit it with the cold shot, always cold shot, for about 10 seconds and this will just lock in the curl. All right, turn it off and release your wave. Look at that, it's truly that easy. Okay, resist touching it and I'm gonna show you one more time. All right. Same idea, wrap it so that the hair is nice and flat all the way down your barrel and then turn it on. Also, if you find that your ends are drying faster than the rest of your hair, you can just remove them off of the barrel while the rest of the hair dries. The best part, right? The reveal. Look at that. All right, so they're super curly looking right now, but you just want them to set. So resist touching them. And at the end, I'll show you how to fluff them out and make them a little beachier. All right, so I'm going to go to the other side and don't forget to switch out your barrel. All right, so the bottom section is done. I love how soft and natural these curls look. They're so beautiful. I can't believe that the air wrap dries and styles at the same time. Like this is going to be turned into this with one tool, so cool. All right, now I'm going to section my hair off at my temples. And I find it most helpful to keep all of your wet hair behind your shoulders. All right, so for this section, I'm going to do it a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to curl all the hair that's framing my face away from my face. And then I'm going to curl the rest of the hair on this side towards my face. I like to do this because I find that stacking the curls in different directions will just give you so much volume. There it is. And you can see how these curls stack on top of one another versus becoming one curl. So this really helps to add volume. And you could also alternate the types of curls. So you could use your air wrap as a wand and then for the next curl, you could use it to make a curl like I did in the first hairstyle and I think that'd be really beautiful. There's so many different options of what you can do. Oh, and you can also alternate the size of the section that you're grabbing to give you an even more natural look, especially if you have shorter hair, play around with the different sizes and it'll look really beautiful. All right, so this curl is going to go towards my face. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but the reason why I'm wrapping the hair versus curling it like I did on the first hairstyle is this is going to give you more of a wave versus a defined curl. Look at that. Look how shiny it leaves my hair too. So nice. All right, so I'm going to unclip my hair and just move on up my head. I'm just going to curl the rest of my hair away from my face. And then I'll check back in when I get to my bangs. All right, so for this front section, what I like to do is start my curl at about eye height. So if you have a center part, you can do the same thing with those pieces that are framing your face. I just think it looks really flattering. And I'm only gonna hold it on for about 10 seconds because I want it to have a softer curl. See how that falls like so nice and soft. So I'm gonna let this sit just for like another minute or two and then you could go ahead, spray it with some hairspray if you need it. And then we're going to brush up these curls. All right, the best part, let's fluff up these curls just by gently pulling on the outside of the curls to loosen them up. Okay, so I love the way that these curls look, except for this piece. I really regret only holding it for 10 seconds now, but it works out because I can show you how I like to touch up my curls throughout the week without re-washing my hair. So just take any sections that have fallen out, take a water bottle, just give it a light mist. Just work it through, make sure every strand feels cool to the touch. All right, and then I'm just going to take this section and recurl it much better. All right, so that's it. I love how these BG waves turned out. They're just so soft and natural looking and they look even more beautiful the next day. But whether you already own the Dyson or you're thinking about purchasing it, I really hope that you found this video helpful. You can find even more information on Dyson.com about the air wrap and the new attachments. So I'll leave the link in the description below. But thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.